Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Department of Mathematics, KMS, KMS, J. Momin Women's College. Now we are here for the third lecture of SYBSC Mathematics. In the previous lecture, we have seen algebra of limits. In the chapter, functions of several variables. In algebra of limits, we have proved first three results: limit of, limit of addition, limit of uh, scalar multiplication, and the limit of uh, the limit of linear combination is equal to a combination of the limits. Then the fourth uh, result we are going to prove here that limit of product is equal to product of limits, and last one, fifth one, limit of norm is equal to norm of limits. Let us see this result. Uh, as we have assumed that if uh, limit of f of x is b as x is tending to a, then by definition for f for given if so on there is a delta such that norm of f of x minus a. That this is the definition. Definition is what for given if so on positive there is delta positive such that norm of x minus a less than delta implies. f of x norm of f of x minus that limit is less than epsilon using this definition for epsilon is equal to 1 here we can have some delta 1 positive such that when 0 is less than norm of x minus a less than delta 1 then norm of f of x minus b is less than 1 because we have taken epsilon is equal to 1 so actually we will prove the boundedness of f of x So norm of f of x is equal to norm of f of x minus b plus b. This minus b plus b is the adjustment uh, will be less than equal to by this. I have, I have taken here bracket that this is less than equal to norm of this plus norm of b, and uh, this norm of b minus uh, f of x minus b is strictly less than one. So this is strictly less than one plus norm of b. So we have shown that norm of f of x is strictly less than one plus norm of b. Provided that uh, this x uh, norm of x minus a is less than delta one. Okay, so let us take this as two. This given limit is one. So come to the uh, given thing then. Then once again by definition, by definition means uh, as we have seen that limit of f of x, limit of f of x is b. Again by definition. For given epsilon, there is some delta two positive such that whenever norm of x minus a is less than delta two, then norm of f of x minus b is strictly less than epsilon upon two times one plus norm of c. This is epsilon upon some positive number, so definitely this is less than epsilon. Okay, so this is the adjustment. This norm of c is the limit of the other function g of x. We have to remember this uh, choice. Uh, so epsilon upon two times one plus norm of c, and limit of g of x it is given in the question. Okay, this this c we have used here. The so limit of g of x as x tending to a, if it is c, then by definition for given epsilon positive there is some other delta three positive such that whenever zero is less than norm of x minus a less than strictly less than delta three it implies norm of g of x. Is strictly less than epsilon upon two times one plus norm of b. This norm of b is limit of f of x first function. Okay, uh, uh, norm of b, uh, b is the limit of this. So we have adjusted here, adjusted here, norm of b. This is also less than epsilon. We want to use equation uh, uh, inequalities two, three, and four simultaneously. For that, we need to take here delta is equal to minimum of delta one, delta two, and delta three. Okay. So when uh, we use this, delta is less than or equal to delta is less than equal to delta one, less than equal to delta two, less than equal to delta three. Therefore, whenever norm of x minus a is less than delta, then this norm of x minus a is a, a, x minus a is less than delta one, delta two, and delta three. All of them, and we can very well use the the these inequalities in two, three, and four. Now we consider what we want to prove. We want to prove that. The the limit of f of x into g of x is b into c. If we show that the norm of the differences of these two terms is less than epsilon, we are through. Okay. So we consider this. This is f of x into g of x, uh, and this is minus b into c. We have to adjust in between uh, minus f x 
into C and plus fx into C that can be cancelled and it is actually the actual term. So from the first two terms f of x is common, this is g of x minus c. From the second to the last two terms c is common, this is f of x minus b. And using the properties of norm, this norm is less than or equal to norm of this plus norm of this. And again this norm is uh, this norm will be less than norm of f of x into norm of g plus norm of c into norm of f of x minus b. Okay. So uh, and from from two from two we have proved that norm of uh, f of x is less than one plus norm of b. So this is strictly less than one plus norm of b. From four we have we see that norm of g of x minus c is less than epsilon upon two times one plus norm of b plus this norm of c as it is and this we have in uh, in three we we see that this is less than epsilon upon uh, norm of uh, epsilon upon 2 times 1 plus norm of c. So this gets cancelled and this norm this norm uh, this value norm of c upon 1 plus norm of c is definitely less than 1. So this term is less than 1 into epsilon by 2. So this after cancelling these two this is epsilon by 2 and this is less than epsilon by 2 will become epsilon by 2 plus epsilon by 2 is equal to epsilon. So we have proved that norm of these two terms f of x into g of x minus bc is less than epsilon. Therefore limit of f into g is equal to bc. That proves that product of limit of the product of functions is equal to product of their limits. Come to the last uh, question, last result that we wanted to prove. Uh, it is uh, if norm of f of x is equal to b, then then we have to prove that norm of uh, limit of norm of f, f of x is norm of b. So for definition, for given epsilon positive, there exists delta positive such that uh, zero less than norm of x minus a less than delta implies norm of f of x minus b is less than epsilon. Okay. Uh, let us see what we wanted to prove. We will consider mod of f of x minus norm uh, uh, mod of norm of f of x minus norm of b. There is a result that uh, this mod is always less than or equal to. In fact, this is this can be less than or equal to norm of this minus this. So it is norm of f of x minus b. Uh, but already this is strictly less than epsilon. So this term is strictly less than epsilon. So mod of norm of f of x minus norm of b is strictly less than epsilon. Therefore limit of this is equal to this. So we have proved that limit of norm of f of x as x is tending to a is equal to norm of b. This proves the fifth result also.